Hi Hans and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagey and it feels good to be back. I say that because I missed a day. <gasps> Please don't hate me, but I went home to Bristol. I was just chilling, being with my family and I just was a slob all week. I didn't do anything, didn't film. Yes, I know, the worst YouTuber ever, but I am back with my favorite thing to do, which is a fashion video, a haul of a brand I have never tried before. Let's get it, let's get it. Also, something I've noticed, right? My little brother, he is good with the analytics. He was looking into my YouTube and he found out that 80% of you who watch me don't subscribe to me. I'm sorry, 80%. I'm taking actual personal offense to that. So if everyone could just go down and subscribe, that would be good. <laughs> While you're down there, why not like the video? Why not? Why, why the F not? Okay, let's just get into it. Today I'm gonna be reviewing a brand called, you've probably heard of them. I see all these hauls all the time. So of course I wanted to get involved and put my two cents in. It's everything5pounds.com. Yes, you heard it right. Everything is five pounds. What, what the, how? I didn't get it either. Even the postman was like, you're gonna be all right with that, love. I was like, mate, I can lift. I've been lifting my five kgs. I can lift that, but no, it's really heavy. But yeah, I'm shook. This video is in collaboration with them. So thanks guys for sponsoring this video. But of course, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be real with you. The way their stuff works is it's like stock from other brands, like popular high street brands. Cause I think when you think it's five pounds, you automatically think it's gonna be crap because it's cheap. But no, it's like they buy the like, not unwanted, but they buy the stock from other brands that might not be selling and then sell it on for cheaper. So some of them, I had a little cheeky look. Some of the labels are from other brands, i.e. like Topshop, Boohoo, so I'm actually buzzing. I will say the site, you have to really give it a good scroll to find the best stuff, and it goes quickly. So if you like something, honestly just buy it. Like it's five pounds, just buy it, because I had things favorited, and I was buzzing. Next day I come back, they were gone. Be quick, snooze you lose with everything five pounds. But yeah, without further ado, let's just get into the video and see what we got for five pounds. Also, do you guys like my makeup? I tried to do it like Kylie Jenner. Um, I don't look anything like her. <laughs> but it's kind of cool. It's like a cool grey toned, you know. I've been wanting to do more makeup videos, but I do a lot more makeup things over on Insta. So if you don't follow me on there, obviously I'll leave the link below. You already know what to do. Okay, the first item, I'm buzzing. It's like this satiny blouse. I'm back at work now, back to the office. So some of these outfits were with that in mind. Like I need to look appropriate. I can't be wearing like this kind of top to work, you know? I gotta be a professional bay again. So yeah, this is cute. It's like appropriate, but still fashionable. It's satin, almost like, not a tie dye, but like a brush stroke across, high neckline with a keyhole and this little shirt waist. This I got in a 10. Unfortunately, they don't have a size guide, I guess because every company's different, but most things I just got in my normal sizes. I probably could have done with getting a 12 in this top, but we're gonna just carry on. And also, I said it was for work, and why does this look like I'm going out? Like, this is a going out top. But we're gonna, we're gonna make it work. Also, putting on buttons, you're the ones at the back of your neck. That's an Olympic sport. Like, I don't wanna hear, I don't wanna hear anything about it. That's an Olympic sport, one that I'm bad at. Cute, I really like the pattern on this. It's kind of sexy, but not in an obvious way. The material feels really good. I've just started with these like black wet look jeans. I wear stuff like this all the time. To work, just a nice blouse, easy to throw on and go and still look sick. So yeah, happy with that. I'm actually gonna start by showing you all the tops and jumpers and things just because I can put them on with these jeans and it just makes my life so much easier. This, look at this color. I can't, I actually can't. The quality feels like something you would literally get from like Topshop. I don't get it. So it's a really ditzy blouse. It's got like sheer sleeves, little rust color, um, little frill hem, buttons, just everything I want from a blouse. Oh, I love. I feel like I'm gonna say it a million times in this haul, but I legit cannot believe that this is my bounds. I would expect to pay like a good 25 for something like this. It fits so well. I love that it's a bit cheeky, like shows cleavage, but it's not too much. I think the color really goes, especially if you're tanned, really, really pretty. They also had this in so many other colors, so hopefully it's still up by the time I get this video up. And look, just like the little details of the sleeves, that's when you feel like something looks more premium when more thought has got into it. And yeah, I would just style it pretty much like this or maybe with a little leather skirt or something. But yeah, really autumnal and cute. 
Obviously, because we're going into autumn, I just saw this as the best opportunity to stock up on loads of new, nice knitwear. They have a great section online to defo. Check it out. Um, this little khaki number, right, I can spy a little new look label in the top. So, like, how insane is that? You're legit getting, like, a new look jumper for £5. Sort of, like, loose knit. You can see through it. I really enjoy this colour. So, let's get it on. <gasps> Oh, I really love this. I love the sleeves. They kind of flare out like a wizard sleeve. <laughs> oh dear, am I okay? I don't like I'm going to Harry Potter or something. <laughs> Obviously don't do that when you're wearing <laughs> But yeah, I like that it cuts sort of quite low, but not too big, baggy, you know, it's still quite flattering on your body. Just imagine with a big coat over, little chunky boots. I just, I'm not ready for winter, but I am ready because I got these jumpers, but like mentally, I'm not ready. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, really, really cute. Let's go on to the next jumpers because we have a lot to get through. I mean, this is just a classic. Every winter, I have to have a trusty cream cable knit. They go with absolutely everything. Jeans, tick. Skirts, tick. Like a little skirt and tights, yes leather just just everything you can look casual we can still look kind of glam you know so um i'm ready it's just very simple cut with the like cable knit design i think i got this in a 10 so or a medium yeah i think the jumpers are like small medium large so yeah i got this for everyone in a medium this is gorge it's really lightweight and especially if you live in a city or live in london you're in and out all the time you're never actually out in the cold for that long because you stop and get a coffee or you're in the office and then you're on the tube so you don't really want thick knitwear you want this it's going to keep you warm it's lightweight so you can wear a coat over it yeah i love again you would expect to pay about £30 for a jumper like this, so I'm just raking in the bargains here. Guys, you need to get on it. You need to get on it. <laughs> I will show you from the back too. It's just a really good length and light enough that you could tuck it into stuff because that's really important. You want to, we love a versatile knit on this channel. Then I also got the exact same but in sort of like a nudie pink colour because if you like something, obviously you've got to get it in every single colour because that's just the rules. That That is the rules. I'm like, if I find something that suits me, I stick to it. Like I have about five looks and I just buy those things. I, do, I don't know, I feel like I know what I like and I stick with it. Whenever I take a risk, it doesn't pay off. Honestly, I, when I went home last week, I thought it looked really cool and I was wearing this outfit and my mum and brother were like, what are you wearing? So I just, sometimes I just don't trust myself. <laughs> oh, I really like it in this colour too. I'm not sure which is my favourite. I just feel like all I need right now is pumpkin spice latte. The absolute juxtaposition, right, of outside being a full-on heatwave and me just locked up in my room trying on knitwear for you. But before we know it, we're going to be back to the normal English weather, so I'm going to be sorted. <laughs> Which one do you prefer? Are you a cream knit kind of person or do you like a little neutral or do you like colours? I do like bright knits, but they're not always as wearable and I find that I don't gravitate towards them like when I'm, when I'm picking out outfits. But yeah really cute also all my other knitwear from this haul was very plain so obviously i had to branch out and try and be a little bit fun so there were some with like really cool patterns but i love the colors on this it's more like pastely and gray again it's just a way to look like you've dressed up like when your knitwear is like cool with a nice pattern it looks like more you've made an effort Ooh, hello oversized it's a little bit see-through so you would have to wear a top a little vest do you ever think when we were kids why did we have to wear vests all the time? Like, I, I remember always going to school and mum would be like, get your vest on. Like, why? It's weird. And also, do you know what's actually really inappropriate? When you forget your PE kit and you have to do PE and knickers and a vest. I asked someone who's a teacher the other day if they do that. They don't do it anymore. You're not allowed. That was, that's quite a traumatic part of my childhood that I pushed the back of my brain. Like, I was, oh, I was always that fucking kid that didn't have a PE kit. But this cute it's like a pastel pink with the gray it's almost like a camo design i think i love how oversized it is i feel like winter is all about being cozy just wrapped up in a big jumper so yeah i think i'm pretty much sorted now for the rest of the winter i am stocked up on knitwear thanks to everything five pounds right i feel like we've done a lot of casual clothes so shall we move on to something a bit more dressy like some dresses why not so then we've got this little number as we move on to dresses I think that's another new look label, but it's a case of the FBI, you know, because it's really, 
cut off but i think it's a new look i've got this in a size 12 it's this really pretty day sort of tea dress with the frill and it has little hearts on which i love i thought this would be perfect with like a roll neck underneath a white roll neck you know that layering style with tight boots but it also is appropriate to wear in the summer with your legs out so yeah we love a transitional um can we talk about how this is like the cutest dress i've ever seen what how the hell is this five pounds like look i love it it definitely shows a bit of cleavage oh, that was not inappropriate <laughs> But it goes in at the waist and wraps around and shows a little bit of leg, you know? It's a bit cheeky, but it's still covered up and cute. Like I said, I would wear this with black tights and chunky little boots. So, defo can be worn into the winter months. Yeah, I really feel this. It really fits well. 12 was definitely the right choice for me here. Even with heels, actually. Like, you could defo wear this out as well. I love that. We love a little dress that does it all. I literally cannot get through a haul these days without ordering something leopard print. And this is really pretty. So it's a different style than I'd usually go for as it's more of a smock dress. But it's a weighty material. Like it feels good. It has these little buttons, frill sleeves, and then goes down into more of a pleated skirt. I really hope this suits me because it's not really a style of dress I'd usually wear. But you never know. I'm trying to take risks. Me with me getting the same five jumpers and then I'm like, oh, I want to take risks. Like, are you okay, hun? But to be honest, it's not usually the sh shape of dress I would reach for or go for. But I'm not, I'm not, like, angry at it. Like, I, I feel like I can make it work. It's, it is doing bits. I did get this in a 10. Sometimes I do get dresses in a 10, especially if they puff out. Because I'm smaller up here, but larger on, like, the bum area. But, I don't know. Is this cute? Like, someone needs to tell me because... I think it is. It's the drop hem that's kind of throwing me off. It just, like, is that flattering on my belly area? I do not know. But overall, it feels thick. I'm shook this stuff is five pounds. You would not expect that at all. I need to stop saying that. Every time I say a comedy is five pounds, take a shot, guys, because, or have a sip of your Red Bull. <sighs> this neckline, though, this square neckline, yes, that gets a yes from me. If this was, like, a cute little top, I would love it, but we're gonna see. We're, we're tentative, we're gonna put a tentative on this dress. This dress also, I feel like I'm taking a risk. Like, look at this. I don't ever wear long dresses, ever, because I'm sure, and they don't really do me any favors, but I thought this was very fashion forward. You know, very fashionable. With the tie dye, there's loads of colors of this. It's actually like, I don't know how to pronounce this, please. Please, please say, please, please sir, please. Do you, know, you know what I'm trying to say, it's like that, like lined, please say, <laughs> Jesus, material, um, and then it also has a drop hem, I'm really hoping this looks good because I would love to be able to wear something like this, I don't hate it but I'm not in love, it's just there's something about these long dresses, like, I don't know, it's just not flattering on me at all, on someone super skinny that doesn't have hips, it would just fall a lot more... I don't know, yeah, it would just fall nicer, like it would look more modelly, whereas on me I just look like I'm wearing a bit of a sack, to be honest, and that's it's not really a look anyone wants to go for. I love the feel of it, it feels really good. It falls in a nice way on your body, actually, I'll give it that, like it, it kind of clings to you, but in a nice way, not like, you know those slip dresses that cling to your belly, it's not like that at all. Like I would feel comfortable to wear it out, definitely. I do like the drop hair, but yeah, it's just not for me. And the colours are really cute. Like, there was loads of them. There was, like, a black. I think there was a blue. But I thought this chocolate one was very appropriate for this season. This is it from the back. I don't know, guys. What do you think? On someone taller and skinnier, this would look stunning. But on me, unfortunately, it's just not something I can pull off. And that is fine. Not all of us can pull off everything. We all come in different beautiful shapes and sizes. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Now I have another little dress, but this one's more of a jumper dress. They had these in loads of colours. It has a big bat wing sleeve, a v-neck, and I just thought it looked really nice in this nude colour. I did get a large slash extra large, so I'm hoping it fits me. Ooh, I'm impressed with this. It feels good. Like, obviously it's a bodycon, but because it's kind of baggy, like, it doesn't sit anywhere it's not clinging to places i don't want it to cling to i feel like the bat wing sleeve just adds a nice silhouette and makes it a bit cooler rather than just like a 
plain sort of ribbed dress i probably reckon i could wear it off the shoulder yeah i like that like i'd wear it like this with some boots or something it's a way to be autumnal and warm but still wear a dress color is nice i definitely think i'd have to whack on a bit more fake tan though because this sort of tone of um beige can sometimes wash you out if you're a little bit fair so yeah i just need to keep that in mind i did tan last night but it's just not taken especially to my chest does anyone ever feel like that like tan just doesn't go on your chest i've seen people do it with a makeup brush and apparently it sticks better so i'll we'll have to t try that out but yeah i love it off the shoulder look it's just slouchy and casual and cute Ooh, i like this one i actually need to find an outfit to wear to the office monday is my first day back this could be a contender depending on how cold the weather is. And then I actually managed to find some sort of bandage dress on there. You know what? Their party dress section was popping. There was a full on gowns and sequin dresses for five pounds. And I feel like that's such an expense at Christmas. Like some dresses go for like 80 quid. So yeah, I was impressed by that. But I found this little cohort. Feels really nice. Oh, it's like a really cute grey suede with the lace up. And then it had a matching top. Look, a whole damn cohort. A whole cohort for fiver. Like, what? Why is this, like, low-key better than some dresses I've spent £50 on? Like, what? It is thick. Like, the material snatches you in. I would expect for fiver, like, no shade, but on Pretty Little Thing, some of their dress, £5 dresses are legit, like, a thin piece of jersey, which when you're wearing a bodycon or a bandage dress, you do not want that because it will show your belly. But, like, look. I can't. It feels, it, oh, geez. I would definitely wear this out. A little pair of heels, a little bag. This is really stunning, actually. This going out outfit, which I would wear to like a bougie club, is genuinely cheaper than my meal from McDonald's. Can we just let that sink in? God, my top tip would definitely be like, I was scrolling through New In, I saw a few things I liked. You need to keep an eye on the New In page all the time, but definitely search through the individual categories. Like I typed in cohort to find this, or dresses or skirts or even just specific things like I literally typed in blazer and I found loads more blazers than I saw on the new in page so yeah top tips from Sadie these trousers I just went and steamed them because I'm so professional so anything with linen like as beautiful as linen is it's a lot of work but I got a steamer so it's all good anyone I recommend you to get a steamer saves your life so these are actually like oasis they've physically got an oasis label in five pound oasis trousers like what Usually they'd be like £40, though. No? These cute little nude culottes with a Thai waist. Quite summery, but I definitely think I can make it work, especially with a blouse for the office. These are the trousers. I'm not really a trouser person, but I can appreciate the fit of these are really lovely. I definitely think I could make it work. And on someone else, they would look insane. They're really good quality. I just... Something about being short, like I'm not, I can't get away with that many trousers. Just popped it on with a little white bodysuit. I definitely think this shade of linen, like the neutral, go with more white coloured tones. But yeah, I really think they look good, but not on me, if that makes sense. When we do a haul of all loads of things, I'm not always going to like every single piece on me, but I can appreciate when something is good and the quality is nice. I do feel like I want to go like that. I do feel like it should have pockets. But yeah, I've never worn linen trousers. I just thought I would try me cool. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Can I rock these? Yay or nay? <laughs> the next item I have to show you is also linen. Um, it's th But it's a skirt. And this is actually from Matalan. Not a place I shop often, but I can appreciate definitely worth more than five pounds. I mean, you can literally see here, the tag says 16 on it. So whatever. Okay, so I like these items separately. I'm not really sure if they go together, but... It's on now, so we're gonna talk about it. So this bodysuit, I am not the biggest fan of Holton X, I'm gonna be honest. I never think they suit me, but somehow this one is really pretty and girly. It does actually have a little keyhole, kind of shows your belly button, I don't know if that's good. But yeah, it has a little keyhole section here and it fits really nice. It's ribbed, got buttons, and then from the back, it's just kind of like fairly low. I think it would look cute with jeans. You know, you cannot go wrong really with a black bodysuit. And then this skirt from Matalan is really nice, like a pencil length, also linen. It's got a little tie, so you can tighten it to how you like. It would definitely be a nice holiday skirt. Like, can you imagine with a little tropical crop top? The only issue I have with this skirt is I don't like when you can see the underskirt. Do you know what I mean? Like, it stops there. I wish 
that wasn't a thing but it's really not the end of the world you can tell it's good quality i got this in a medium and i got this in a 12. this could also be dressed up this white skirt with again a really cute little crop bralette little heels a tiny little bag so yeah cute definitely not together like please don't take this for my styling skills i'm better than this but there's a lot of stuff to get through <laughs> if you guys could see my room after a haul it's inhumane it's it's actually like a pigsty it looks like a barn while i've got this top on very versatile i'm gonna pop these little um, sort of beige latte mocha whatever color you want to call it pu leather shorts i thought Wow, very on trend. It's a bit of a different, like it's like an elasticated waistband. So I'm hoping it doesn't give off nappy vibes as sometimes they do. This is what you would see in like a lot of the really fashionable shops at the moment. So let's just put these on. <laughs> Again, these do not go with this top, but I'm not sure on them. They feel really comfy because there is nothing, but I feel like they would have looked cooler with a belt maybe and a bit more flattering. Like, they do fit. I think I got them in a bigger size, a medium large. I just don't know if they're accentuating maybe like the worst parts of my body, which is like <laughs> my sort of belly area. Like, it, is it nappy? I don't know. Do you know what? These would look cool with one of the jumpers over to hide this part. I don't think they look good with stuff tucked in. Like, you need something sitting there. And actually, these with like uh, boots that go up to here, an oversized blazer. These would actually look sick. Like, I'm definitely going to wear them, but I've just not styled them nicely, so <laughs> please don't take how this looks right now. To actually call myself a fashion YouTuber, look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Come on, let's just find a little blazer or something to put over them. I do have this one, which again, I think was from New Look. It's just a black slinky one. Ooh. Already, with this on, the look is coming together a bit. Maybe not tan and black. Maybe I'll save the tan to go with more beiges and stuff. But this little sort of blazer jacket thing really doing bits for me. I got it in a 12. It's like the kind of thing you wear when you're going out and you're wearing like a really sexy dress and you don't know what to put over it. You feel like all your coats and jackets are going to ruin it. This is the perfect piece to wear over stuff. And also just to look dressy but still feel warm and covered. You can wear it over blouses dresses jeans and then like a little top and then this just popped over like this with this top the all black it's doing bits it's doing bits to be honest and i love the slinky satin material it feels amazing such a steal such a steal for fiber it's kind of giving me like sexy dressing gown vibes you know when you're getting ready to do your makeup and you're like oh just pop my little dressing gown on but it's actually for wearing out the house Cute. Right, out of everything, this is definitely the piece I was most excited about. This is definitely something I would pay a lot more money for on another website. So I was like, what a bargain. It's this little cropped pinstripe blazer in a khaki olivey tone. I just thought, this is something you would see on Zara. Like, come on, you know it is. So yeah, one of the biggest trends for 2020 autumn as well. That is actually so nice. It is so premium like i feel like that bitch you know like i feel premium in this oh the nice tailoring cuts just here the good thing about crop blazers you can style them with so many things cycling shorts again leather trousers jeans even a tailored skirt obviously i've just got on my little leather skirt which i do think goes knee high boots even but i am shook i am impressed that i found this i love this color with a tan too it's just a color that never ever goes out of fashion so it's just crazy to me that you can even buy coats or jackets or blazers for five pounds that's incredible value this <laughs> what a, a full-on snakeskin trench coat I'm ready. Give me all those animal vibes. It looks amazing. It's got the tie buttons. Just thought this would look so sexy, especially with knee high boots or something. Right, you have to admit, I look like a high fashion biat right now. Like, I should be at Fashion Week wearing this. Fiverr. <laughs> also, you can tie it. So it's almost like a dress. Like I said, I would wear it with knee high boots. So I would definitely style it more to look like a dress. I think that's just so flattering when they tie in at the waist. I do look a slightly like a mistress. Like, oh, what has she got on under that coat? But that's the look we're all going for. This is premium AF. What? Definitely, I'm gonna be going out to take photos in this soon because 
yeah you can wear it as a coat a dress i really hope all these things are still in stock by the time this goes up of course i'll leave links and if i can i'll leave similar things but like i said it does go fast this is probably gonna be one of my favorites of the whole video 100 i also picked up some shoes yes they do shoes and bags things like that also they do men's clothes but i haven't mentioned that they do men's clothes and they actually look good so i have two pairs of shoes i thought i'd go down the wintry route so hello hello and gorgeous look at these little sort of pointed mid-heel boots and they do actually have a cutout can you see at the top a mix of leather and material lace up a little buckle perfect with jeans or with tights so yeah i'm sorry they how are you going to get a pair of winter boots at five pound? I would love, 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 love to know where these are from because they feel good quality. When I tell you the inside is like fur lined for warmth, the details have been thought into. These are just a classic I kind of boots I would wear every single winter. The point adds a definitely more of a fashion edge and the heel is super comfortable so you're going to always be able to wear them just with like one of those chunky jumpers, jeans. So I really, really love but also very flattering on the legs as well. It's a yes for me, safe to say. I, I, I want to know where their shoes are from because they feel good. And then my other pair that I picked up again super cool and fashionable for autumn these like patent they almost look like brogues at the bottom can you see a chunky sole the front is patent like leather and the back is just material goes up the leg that's another huge trend so but let's try these on i hope you can see me these are the boots again i'm shook like that's so on trend look at them I really like this style. I've never seen them before, like the little brogue. Really cute with this um, dress as well, actually. Oh, I love. These are also so, so comfy. Literally not attractive. Like, who does this? I have not worked out a good way to show you shoes. That's what I found from this haul. We are finally done with the haul. Like, I'm sorry it took so long. I think that might actually be the biggest haul I have ever done. If any of you are still here, I appreciate that. And honestly, you deserve an award. You deserve a medal. That's a little round of applause for you and for me because I'm so hot, so sweaty trying all these clothes on. It's safe to say that th this stuff is incredible. I'm sorry, for five pounds, you can't really go wrong. That all came to a hundred literally on top shop you get one thing for a hundred so it's great value and definitely if you want to create like a little capsule wardrobe and piece together loads of outfits i would definitely recommend checking them out it's definitely somewhere i'm gonna regularly check up on and hope to get those bargains sis is always trying to catch the bargains but yeah thank you so much for all your love and support i hope you all have a lovely week Mwah.